Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I got a uh, email about some activity on this website, and I haven't used it in quite a while. Don't remember if I did a review of this many years ago or not, but here it is again anyway. And what it is, it's a website that visually gives you some information about radio propagation. Now, this is in the amateur radio world, but us shortwave listeners can also use it to give us some indication of communications and how conditions are doing. And if I come down here to the system statistic down here at the bottom and click on that, and then it gives you uh, the, this is called the PSK Reporter. It gives you stats of all the reports that are going on. Uh, and this is pretty much real time and it's very busy. A lot of people are using this. And if I go to the main page here, it gives you an information of what this is. And uh, it's basically people using the PSK format of communication on their amateur radio bands doing reports of their communication efforts. And you... Uh, either as a ham or you as a shortwave listener can use these reports to get an indication of propagation you know how well you're going to be able to receive a station or not so let's go back to the map and i'll put the link to this map in the description below this video uh, there's a bunch of options you can select you can select which band, again, it's amateur radio band. So, for instance, if I was interested in the international broadcast band 31 meters, I could select 30 meters, which is pretty close, and then it will, I'll go over here, I'll say, I'll leave this to signals received, sent and received by, I won't predict, you could, you could pick a particular uh, amateur radio operator and then their call sign and all this stuff types and modes and then over how many hours I'm gonna say uh, it's the last six hours and then go and these are all the um, reports that people have had communications and then you can click on one of these and they'll give you details down here in the corner of who reported it where they were um, and other things, what mode they were operating and things like that. What I can't get working, and this is my, my problem, is I go over here to display options. And what I wanted to display, and maybe the author of this has turned it off because it's, it's just too, it takes up too much processing power or something. But down here it says hide connecting lines. You, I would assume, click that if you want to hide the lines, let me go back to the map, that connect, that show you a particular operator and what, and who he connected to. So you could, like, for instance, if this guy here in Texas uh, connected to and had communications with, say, this guy down here, it would show that line. I can't get it to show the lines. And I've used this online discussion of problems. I left a note, this was about three days ago, asking, what am I doing wrong that's not showing the connecting lines? Now, I even tried, let's go back here to display options. I even tried clicking this, hide connect, connecting items, to see if for some reason it was working backwards. And I don't see where you say uh, accept there's no uh, accept it just I guess that it stores that and then uh, oops I, hit, I zoomed in uh, and then I'll say go again to update display no connecting lines so I don't know what's going on here but anyway even without that the um, you can see the activity and like I say my it might be that this activity here in the United States is all within the United States. Without those connecting lines, you don't know. 
So maybe somebody that's watching my show uses this and they can tell me what I'm doing wrong. I've tried it on two different computers. I've tried it on two different um, internet programs, Chrome and some other one. Uh, and I can't get the lines to show up. Now look down here, and I don't think my pointer's my pointer in my screen capture program is working for some reason. But I'm down at the bottom of the screen here. It says reception records. And look at that number continuing to grow. So this is a really active website. So this is good information, and it's recent. Now let me back up here, and I'm just going to select the last 30 minutes. And I'll say go. And I yeah, did it update. Okay, let's try a, even a shorter period. Let's try 15 minutes. I would have thought a lot of these reports would go away. We'll say go. And hmm, let me try refresh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Nope, they're still all there. Uh, let's go the other direction. 24 hours. So there should be a lot of reports over the last 24 hours. I'll say go. And <laughs> nothing updates. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I'm looking and I'm looking and look. Hmm. I didn't see any changes in the number of reports made from 24 hours to 15 minutes ago. Not sure what I'm doing wrong. Let me just check. Let me try the satellite picture. It looks like the same. I'll say, I'm at 24 now, I'll say 15 minutes go. And I don't see any, I don't really see any changes. I'm, to say the least, I'm perplexed. Anyway, I thought this would be a pretty good website, but I'm getting a little worried that it's not working right, at least on my computer. Don't understand why going from over the last 24 hours down to the last 15 minutes that the number of reports didn't change. Now, maybe they did, and I just didn't. Let me zoom in. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to zoom right in here on the United States. And that way, I can see a little better. Now we're going. So we've got oh, maybe 20 reports for the last 15 minutes. Now we're going to go to 24 hours, and we're going to say go. And I see no change. I don't understand. Go, go, nothing. No changes. Uh, what am I doing wrong? Is this website broken or is it just my computer setup? Please let me know if you know the answer to that question. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.